Hi, I'm Sean Martin, President and Founder of Donix Snowboards. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mount our 4x4 mono plate system. Some of you may be tempted not to watch this video and just try and mount the system on your own. Well, it's not difficult to mount, it can be mounted incorrectly, so I strongly suggest you watch the video. First thing you're going to find in your package is the plate. You're also going to find some plastic strips here with holes in each end. And these help you locate your axle spacing. You're going to find a variety of hardware. You're going to find uh, eight of these socket head cap screws. You're going to find four or six of these flathead 35 millimeter long uh, screws. There'll be four in your package and two of them are likely to be installed in your uh, slider mechanisms. You'll also find two 20 millimeter flathead screws. As I said before, you'll find a set of sliders. They're likely to be bundled together and wrapped in cardboard to protect uh, the plate in transit. You're also going to find a pair of axles, some star-shaped plastic devices, which are actually used for uh, fastening the axles to the, to the board. You'll find some fixed bushings, uh, which um, are actually mirror images of each other. You'll notice that the holes are offset, and you should notice that uh, they are a mirror image, so they're both different. You're going to find some blue aluminum uh, retaining clips for retaining those fixed bushings. You'll find some blue aluminum clips for retaining the axle over the plastic pieces. You should also find a 4 millimeter and a 5 millimeter hex key to use to install everything. So let's get started on, uh, on putting this thing together. First thing I'm going to do is grab my star shaped plastic pieces and set my axles on top of them. Then I'm actually going to grab my fixed bushings and use them to center the axle over that center plastic piece. You can all obviously use a tape measure to do this, but uh, these are readily available and uh, work very well for doing this. I'm just uh, pushing on either side to ensure that the axle sits, uh, sits centered on the device. Pull those off and set them aside. And I'm going to take my aluminum pieces that sit over top of those, line up the slots over the slots in the plastic pieces. And then I'm going to go to my plastic strips here. Now basically what these do is you'll notice that there's three holes on one end and two holes on the other. Three holes on this end represent the three millimeter spacing in a standard UPM pattern which is mimicked on the plate and then you've got these other two holes on this end which actually represent the offset you see in your uh, fixed bushing. Because there are such great varieties in spacing on four hole patterns uh, you need these in order to fix the correct width on your axles and then check to see whether or not they're actually going to fit on the hole pattern. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to slip. I'm actually going to choose the longest dimension on my axle spacing to mount today. And we'll see if that fits. Some hole patterns you may have a difficulty getting uh, one of the spacings, but we'll go ahead and try the long dimension here. What I'm going to do is I've pushed my axle over the furthest out position, and then I've uh, 
um, put it on the furthest one of these two on the outside. So I'm going to make sure I do the same thing. I don't want to turn this over the opposite direction, otherwise my axles will be cockeyed. So push that over the axle here, come back over here, and fit it over that axle. And let's have a look and see if things are going to fit. So what I'm doing is I'm just setting it over top of my hole pattern and looking to see if things will align. And it looks like I'm a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this back off. And turn it over so I use the closer set of holes on... Uh, on this guy. Push it back over on the longest set here. And I'll take and do the same thing on the other end. Now I'm going to double check again and see if I can get alignment with my hole pattern. And it looks great. I can uh, I can see inserts through my slots, so I'm going to grab my socket head cap screw, all eight of them, and drop them in here. Okay, now you'd use your five millimeter hex key in order to uh, to mount this. I'm actually going to cheat and use a, a T-handle so I can do this a little quicker. And I'm just going to start all my threads. Okay, so I've got them started. I'm going to make sure I'm pulling out firmly here so that my, uh, my uh, position is correct. And I've actually uh, slid towards the back a little bit. Depends on where you like to stand on the board, but uh, this is roughly centered on my hole pattern, the way I've got this set up. And I'm tightening down these four screws here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna pull tight on the front one. Tighten them down. Okay, so now I'm going to slide off my uh, my plastic uh, spacers here, so I'm done with them. Now the cool thing about these these uh, spacing devices is that uh, because they're flexible plastic, you can roll them up, stick them in your pocket, and take them up on the mountain with you. So if you decide you want to change your position, change your stance width, or fiddle with this in any way, you've got the ability to do so anywhere at any time. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my clip that goes on the back side of my, uh, my fixed bushing, and I'm going to slip it over, over the back side and try and center it. Now, what you'll notice is because these are a mirror image, if you put them on here, this way, they're displaced towards the rear. If you take and switch sides, they'll displace slightly towards the front. And this is going to be important when you try and locate it on your plate. The next thing that you want to grab is your sliders. And you'll remove your uh, these screws we've installed here. They're just there to hold that uh, that one component in place while it's in transit. You're going to notice that there's a thin side and a thick side. The thin edge goes towards the front of the board, and the thicker edge goes towards the back. On the 4x4 system, you want to make sure that your your bushing here in the middle is slid as far forward or almost all the way forward. Now they may be quite tight when you get them and uh, they will loosen up as you ride 
I would not recommend putting any grease on these as grease will actually attract dirt and uh, then the dirt will embed in the plastic and abrade the stainless steel and wear away the stainless. So uh, just let them wear in. They will loosen up a little bit and uh, they'll work just fine. So what I'm going to do is take these and slip them over the axle, making once, sure once again that that thin side is towards the front. And the next thing I'm going to do is grab my plate. Now there's something you really want to um, look at carefully on the plate. There is a front and a rear to the plate. The front end has this row of inserts, which you see on, on the front and back, closest to the end. So the row of inserts that are closer to the end is the front end of the plate. You want to make sure that goes up front. And so I'm going to set this on top of my uh, on top of my bushings, and I'm going to line up my holes and see if everything looks like it's going to fit. And it actually doesn't seem to want to fit. So what I'm going to do is take it off, and I'm going to take my rear fixed bushings, and I'm going to switch sides. That'll offset the holes in the opposite direction. And now I'm going to set this back on top and look for my holes through those top holes and they actually fit now. So first thing I need is four of my long 35 millimeter flathead screws. And I'm going to drop them in here through the holes in the fixed bushing and the holes in the board. And I'm going to take my four millimeter hex key, which looks like this, but I'm using a T handle. And just uh, make sure that they start into the threads on the aluminum clip on the bottom there. And let's see here. There we go. Okay, so I've just got them in there loose. I'm going to move to the front here, grab my 35 millimeter screws. What I'm seeing is that it doesn't quite want to line up. My bushing isn't quite in the right place, so I'm going to slide it around a little until it is. And I'm going to line up that plastic piece in there too. Drop my screw through and start the threads. I'll move to the other side. Drop my screw in. Start the threads on that one. I want to make sure you don't force these threads, of course. Uh, if they don't start really easily, you know, just uh, fiddle with it and um, make sure they're going to go in because you don't want to strip anything. I'm going to grab my two 20 millimeter flathead screws and drop them in the holes there. And get them all started. Sometimes that last one can be a little bit tricky. There we go. And in. And I'm going to tighten everything down. Okay, so I'm good to go, and uh, you're ready to, uh, to set your bindings on the top of the plate, and go ahead and, and ride. Alright, well I hope you found this video helpful. Once you uh, do this a couple times, it should only take you about five minutes to mount your plate. Uh, one thing I do recommend is uh, once you decide what axle spacing you prefer, that you uh, put a little bit of Loctite in the threads, uh, particularly on the bottom section mounting into the board. If you remove those bindings, uh, go ahead and check your screws and um, go out and have fun.